So back in, I think it was May 2017, so roughly a little over two years ago, Apple acquired sleep tracking company Bedit. And of course, Bedit has its own sleep tracking platform. They have their own sleep tracking hardware that actually um, slides under your bed sheet to track various data points about your sleep. So the Bedit hardware is capable of monitoring things like sleep time or your heart rate or your, um, I don't know, snoring or breathing, the humidity of the bedroom, the temperature of the bedroom. And then you can have your sleep analysis and your heart rate and your respiratory data available in the health app on the iPhone for tracking and monitoring. But the really nice thing about the Bedit hardware is that it's super thin, only two millimeters thin. It slides right under your bed sheet and it sort of just disappears in the environment. So that's super important when you're trying to get a good night's sleep. You don't have to have anything physical attached to you. Uh, it almost goes unnoticed. But what if you don't really want to take it that far? You don't want to invest in dedicated sleep tracking hardware. Well, we have some good news for you. Today, 9 to 5 Max Guy Rambo learned from sources inside Apple that Apple is working on bringing sleep tracking to the Apple Watch. And the good thing about this is that it doesn't require any extra outside hardware to work. All you need is your Apple Watch. So when might this new feature be announced? Well, it's possible that it could be announced as early as next week during Apple's fall event where they're expected to reveal new iPhones and possibly a new Apple Watch model that includes ceramic and titanium options. Now, according to sources, the Apple Watch will be able to use its inputs and sensors to track things like your heart rate, movement, and noise while you sleep. And then data about a user's sleep quality will be made available in the health app and there will be a new dedicated sleep app on the Apple Watch itself. Now I'll say that this all sounds awesome, if not a little overdue, wouldn't you agree? But there are some definite caveats or definite potential downsides, I'd say. First and foremost, the most obvious one is that most people charge these things at nighttime. Um, most people, when, they're get, when they get to the end of the day, their Apple Watch just doesn't have that much juice left. And it's just natural to want to put it on the charger so you have plenty of juice in the morning. Well, Apple's already thought of this. They're actually going to provide you with a notification to say, hey, make sure you charge up before you go to bed so that we have enough, enough juice to get through the night so we're able to track your sleep data. Now, I could probably adjust to that. That, that doesn't seem like as big of a deal to me personally. The big deal to me personally is actually having to physically wear something on my wrist while I sleep. Like, I've tried to wear my Apple Watch as an alarm clock before and it just didn't feel all that comfortable to me. So for me, the data is gonna to have to be really compelling. Uh, it's gonna to have to provide me with some real value in order for me to be able to get over having to have this thing strapped to my wrist while I sleep. What do you guys think? Would you be able to just, to have this on your wrist at night while you sleep? Would it bother you at all? Would it not bother you? Let me know down below in the comments. I'm just interested to hear what you guys have to say about that. Now, this all sounds awesome. I don't think you can really go wrong by at least giving users the option to track sleep data with the Apple Watch, but I don't think you're going to get the same breadth of data uh, that you would get from a dedicated tracker like Bedit, but Apple still does sell Bedit in the Apple Store, so there's that. There's also a couple of additional tidbits from Guy Rambo's report. Some cool things, actually. Uh, the Apple Watch will automatically turn off your alarm clock. If you wake up before the alarm goes off and it senses that you're already up and at it, it'll just turn that alarm off so it's not going to, to, to try to wake you up when you're already up. I think that's a great idea, personally. The alarm will also play only on the Apple Watch and it'll use your iPhone as a backup. There will also be an option to enable a silent alarm so that you don't get any sort of audible cues, but you just get the vibration on your wrist, which is really cool. And the new bedtime system will enable do not disturb whenever the user goes to sleep. And there will also be a new complication dedicated to sleep tracking. So what do you guys think? Would you be excited about having sleep tracking on the Apple Watch itself? Uh, would you object to having to wear your Apple Watch at nighttime? Would you be okay with having to adjust your charging habits for your Apple Watch? Let me know what you guys think about this all down below in the comment section. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.